there is a new certification in town. This is called F5CA Engine X or F5 Certified Engine X Administrator. We already know there is an F5CA Big IP or F5 Certified Big IP Administrator. So consider this new certification as a new track. I don't know if this is just a coincidence. I have this video, Why Learn F5 Networks, where I mentioned it's better to add F5CA Engine X with a dedicated exam, something like F5203 exam, or change the current F5202 and rename it to Engine X related, because no one is really getting this certification. <laughs> I'm here now in F5 certification page. And as I scroll down, you will see the available certifications. So what we have here is the F5 101, which is technically not a certification. It's just a fundamentals exam. Uh, the title is F5 application delivery fundamentals and the administrator slash associate level, the F5 CA, big IP. And we also have the F5 CTP, the F5202 exam. And then we also have the technical specialist level, the 300 exams. And we also have the 400 exams, which are the solution expert certifications. Now, as you can see, the engine X is still not here. It's still not available. Okay. And why? I don't know. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the Credly F5 page where we'll see um, the badges. And there are many badges available here and maybe you're thinking are these all f5 certification no so you, if you see some of the non-circle uh shape this is like a diamond what else this shape i don't know what it's called these are not really technical certification this is more of a badge if you completed a course available in f5 online courses or the f5 academy uh program uh something like that um the Certification badges are the circle ones. So this is the F5CA Big IP. This is the F5CTS, um, different color because different levels. And the blue color, this is the F5CSE. Now, what we are interested is the F5CA Engine X, this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a new tab and I'm gonna compare it to F5CA Big IP. Okay, there you go. So the F5CA Big IP, we know that it requires two exams, the F5101 and the F5201 exams. Okay, how about for the F5CA Engine X? Now, as I scroll down, it says here, uh, earning criteria. Okay, we have four required exams. And it's not called 101 or 201 or 20X, 10X. It's called F5N1, N2, N3, and N4. Okay, so I would assume N is for Engine X. And what I'm going to do is I will open all four exams, okay? And if I go to the first one, it's F5N1 management. There you go. Okay. And it's MQC, multiple questions. Um, mul actually, all right, minimally qualified candidate. So it's not the multiple choice uh, question MCQ. Um, so this are the coverage. So it's more of Nginx OSS installation, load balancer, etc. cetera. Um, but if I go to F5N2, it actually looks the same, okay? If I scroll down, the first items are the same. See that? These are the same. So even though this is configure knowledge, it doesn't really make a difference. It doesn't have any difference with the objectives and coverage. And the reason why is uh, all of these pages doesn't have any difference at all. To know more about the details of these four exams, all we need to do is open this link, the Engine X exam blueprint. Okay, and there you go. So this is the blueprint and F5CA. And as you can see, we have four exams. Engine X management, configuration knowledge, configuration demonstrate, and troubleshooting. Now let's look at these one by one. So look at the first exam. It doesn't seem like it's long. It's actually looks short. See, um, this is the F5 exam management, and we only have four sections. And 
I would assume this is just fundamentals level. So as you can see, scenarios describe engine X as all of this functionality as a web server, as a reverse proxy, load balancer, caching solution, etc. And then we also, it also covers directory structure. What else? User permission, uh, memory zones. And this is it. This is the exam management, the first exam. So I would assume this is the easiest. Okay. Now, as we go on the second exam, title is configuration knowledge. And this will dive deep into some of its functionality, like the load balancer function. Okay, as you can see, this section is specific to load balancer. How about the second section? The second section is um, Nginx as a content cache server. Okay, the third is Nginx as a web server, and the fourth is Nginx as a reverse proxy. Now, for those who are not familiar with Nginx, Nginx is actually became popular as a web application server. And then they grew, they added more functionalities. It became a load balancer as well, a controller, a caching server, and they also add WAF, Web Application Firewall, okay? And now, um, yeah, so I I would assume the first exam is not so technical, like um, fundamentals, concept base. The second, technical, but less configuration. I would say there are configurations. For example, this is configure. This is demonstrate, okay? Demonstrate. Um, I would say this is basic technical. A little more advanced is the third exam. It's the configuration demonstration, which it, I assume the questions are more related to the configuration, okay? And uh, let's look at the coverage. Manage connection and bandwidth. Restrict, re restrict access. So this is more of access control list-like or rules, security rules. What else? Logging, configure certificates, okay, and associated security settings or TLS and HTTPS. So I would assume that the third is more technical and it also involves more on security, like securing your engine X uh, load balancer and, uh, and web application server. Now, the last exam, it looks like it's short, at least the coverage wise. It looks short because it's just basically troubleshooting all of the things you've learned from the first, second, and third exam. So troubleshooting engine X, HTTP error codes, um, various responses, virtual hosts, multiple ports, TLS security settings, and many others. Now, let's try to book an exam. So if I scroll up, it says here, prerequisites. Individuals must register with the F5 certification program. So let's click this link, open link. All right, so I'm already logged in. Uh, session is still active and this is my F5 certification portal page. And uh, if I click schedule an exam, let's see. Let's see if the F5, N1, N2, N3, N4 are available. It seems it's not yet here, okay? And wonder why. Do you see this? These are 300 level exams because my CTS keeps expiring, expiring. What I only have is F5 CA and F5 CTS in ASM. And um, yeah, I don't see any F5, N1, F5, N2, N3, N4 exams available here. Um, yeah, I have to check with F5 team what's going on so we can book our F5 Engine X certification exams. Again, this is still under beta. Not sure if this is the final process to get this certification, but for exams, for an associate or junior level certification, I think it's too much. Better to just move some of the exams to professional or specialist level. I believe this certification is more for DevOps, cloud engineers, and even full stack developers. How about for network engineers? What do you think, guys? Are you interested in getting this certification?